How was your vacation in the clan's union? Surface simulation, light, oxygen, women, good food, women. I heard about your mishap. The succubus was really stolen right from under your nose. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, they did. I'll get her back, and then... Please. Perry gave me a graphic description. How are things at the front? There aren't as many of them now, but there are still enough bions to give you sleepless nights. Suggestion. You'll get a lightning-fast high-tech cruiser. All you have to do is blow away a little bion trash. Is floating around the habitats. How about getting some guys in the orange suits to take care of them? You're just so nice to me. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now listen. I want you to take the toiler and recon the situation. We've just received a shipment of 3D screens and nano robots. The captain of the cargo ship wants someone to hold his hand while navigating the slalom. <laughs> First, I want you to meet Commodore Sul. He's one of those young dynamic Federation army officers. The situation in Neapolis is worse than bad. And your old friend, Admiral Cox, is drifting towards the political scrap heap. There's definitely something else on the agenda. And that's why they need you. Commodore Sewell will fill you in. When the job's done, come to McGallan. Light, my name is Commodore Sewell. Pleased to meet you, Deadeye. Call me Flint, Commodore. Deadeye is reserved for friends and mortal enemies. Oh, I was hoping we could be friends. I'll come to the point and not waste time. The political situation in Neopolis is, let's say, troubled. The new line, of which I am a member, are progressive thinkers. The old government blocks anything that's fresh, daring, or economically viable. Certain uh, pieces of information have motivated an experiment. I'm not allowed to tell you what it is, but I'd need your help to complete it. Admiral Cox will arrive here in a moment. I suggest a conference. Anyhow, light, Flint. I'll be in touch with you when the time comes. And don't forget your credit card. The shortest way to friendship. Boston Harper here. You need wings, bro. <laughs> I think I'll manage alone, Boston. Okay, then. I have a couple of bells with the ground. At least she knows how to drink. You should see the bucket of boats El Miser Topo gave me. A snail moves faster. So what? The hell with it, Flint! Oi, Flint, back again. Like the Gulf Stream, you disappear into the depths in the north and float secretly back to Florida. That's me, a wanderer. What about you? Oh, I got big troubles. One of those damn Neopolis boys got a hold of me the other day, full of light water, and said we had an architectural problem. He wanted to fix it with a few torpedoes. Huh, sounds like a kook. He heavily armed? No. Uh, El Topo had his ship scanned. It's an old Gorgon-class Atlantis bomber. Easy to crack from the front. I think El Topo's going to hire someone to take out that brain-dead terror tourist. Speaking of which, there's a worthless wise guy named Freeman at Magellan. You might want to talk to him before he takes the job away from you. What makes you think I'm looking for work? Well, for starters, your new boat looks like a water bug with a bad case of gas. If I was you, I'd be making credits as fast as possible. Oh, by the way, Neopolis boy is crossing off the Gamma, a new station. They're still building it. Do you think the breathing gas seems a little dense? Yeah, it's hard to breathe. My analyzer shows the carbon dioxide ratio is way too high. Mm -hmm. That's definitely a problem with the mixture. In spite of helium-17 and significant reductions in pressure at the stations compared with five years ago, we're having rising health problems like micro-bubbles, joint pain, personality changes. Why don't our magicians invent something better? In confidence, I can tell you that there is a rumor of an ultra-fine gas even lighter than helium. But apparently something went wrong. Scientists of Machina were on their way to Neopolis and had a short stop here, and the breathing gas samples disappeared. Can you believe it? 
cases and cases of the stuff. Simply gone. Of course I can believe it. Who else might want that stuff? Think about it, man. Who's the biggest shark in our little goldfish bowl? If you want to know more, talk to Frog. She's a light designer working out of Talasso. I was just talking to Juan. What a paranoid character, isn't he? No doubt he blabbed to you about the new super gas. Yes, I see it in your face. Well, there is something to it. Who could have stolen cargo like that? Think about it. Who has the monopoly right now? Entrox Corporation. Energy, transport, and oxygen. Right. And oxygen simply stands for breathing gases in general. Because pure oxygen would be poison at the prices we live under. That's why we need better air. And why that super gas is worth billions of credits. So you think Entrox is behind the theft? Mister, those guys down there in the Gulf of Florida have hearts colder than a dead politician. Talk to Shakti. She's a store woman at Entrox and responsible for loading the jump ships. You can find her at Vespucci. How are things in the Argentine basin? Must be five years since I've been here. There are too many screwballs from Neapolis coming over because of the magma eruptions along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Whole hotel chains are going up for them. So what's the problem? They get drunk because they're not used to our booze. Then the city slickers hang out and act like seahorse cowboys. Every weekend, one of those Neapolis punks runs amok or threatens a jump ship route by racing around the habitats. They even steal ships for crash dive. Steam is building all over Aqua. I don't know how anybody's gonna keep the lid on. 